What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are probably wondering why I didn't have a scheduled upload for today. If you guys follow me on Instagram or I don't remember if I released a video on the wagon yet, it may have been the KRX in the last upload, but I've been grinding this last two weeks to get the wagon ready for a road trip tomorrow. And we're cutting it really close, but we are currently here right now at the dyno. I'm not gonna show you guys the dyno session in today's video. I'm making this video literally just to upload, to be on schedule, to kind of get you guys up to date. All of the wagon build progress is going to follow next week on regular schedule. But just to have an upload out for you guys today, I kind of want to talk about what had happened with my channel as far as getting uh, terminated. A lot of you guys had questions. A lot of you guys still have questions, even though I've already talked about it being reinstated, but let's start from the beginning. So last, I believe it was last Friday, I uploaded a video per schedule and then a video followed after mine that was not uploaded by me. A lot of people were contacting me through Instagram, through email, through Facebook. Hell, a lot of you guys even got my phone number, which is kind of weird, but a lot of people notified me that my account had been hacked or hijacked. So I had jumped back on after I had already made it into the garage. I checked my account to realize that the name had changed to Ethereum US and my channel banner was gone. The live video was uploaded, which uh, actually violated YouTube terms, like YouTube's guideline. And then I reported the account. I talked to YouTube support and let them know that that was not me who uploaded that video. My account is hijacked. Please help me recover it. They gave me all the links to follow to help recover my account. I was talking to the team and they did what they could at the moment. They couldn't do anything further until the uh, internal team like dug into it further. I still had access to my account because I was still logged on. So I went through my security, uh, logged everybody off. There was two locations that was logged in, not from me i had to lock them off update all my security two-step authentication all of that right and uh i couldn't delete the live video that was still going on and uh like half a day later youtube emailed me and said hey you know the video violated terms and uh we terminated the video and i had access back to my account so i went and started changing all my credentials you know my youtube name back to young static and I was in the process of doing my YouTube banner again, which you guys probably notice is not there anymore. While I was doing my YouTube banner, I automatically got logged off. And then I got a second email from YouTube saying that the video violated YouTube's guidelines, so on and so forth. And it was promoting everything YouTube didn't want it to promote. They terminated my account. I don't know if it was a misunderstanding that they didn't understand that I was hijacked and things like that. So I tried to appeal it. I appealed it three times and each time my email didn't register. The appeal I think was meant for my accounts that were hijacked or stolen, but not terminated. My account was diggity gone. Like it was nowhere to be found, a ghost, not even a ghost cause you can still see ghosts, but um, <laughs> my account was gone guys. So I cried myself to sleep. I, I, I was hurt, I, you know, they're playing J Book in the background over there. Let's do it again. That's what's good. That's what's up. I like that song. Love that song actually. Um, anyways, so literally less than 24 hours, I was like ready to give up YouTube and all of that. You know, I've been on YouTube since 2006, and it's, it goes deeper than that. 2006, you guys can kind of see me grow from a kid to who I am now, and a lot of those videos are like nostalgic. Those videos were on my old old computers, and the only place that it's available to see is on my YouTube channel. So losing my YouTube channel and all of that video to follow, mind you guys, I got a thousand and eighty plus videos. So losing those earlier year videos really hurted me a lot, and uh, losing my account really just drowned me. You know what I mean? And less than twenty four hours, I was dreading really badly. So the next morning, YouTube emailed me and said they apologized for terminating my account. They realized that it was hijacked and it wasn't posted by me, so on and so forth. They reinstated. I was super happy, super ecstatic. I was back on my grind and, you know, really just trying to pick back up where we left off. The thing was, I lost a ton of subscribers to the hijacker. And I can understand why. You guys probably was wondering, I never subscribed to this channel and you unsubscribed and realized that it was my account. And I understand, right? So now I'm trying to build it back up, really just trying to get back in the groove, the regular scheduling and all of that. 
because my account was hijacked, YouTube started auditing my channel, right? Mind you guys, back in the days, I was just uploading videos as a kid. I didn't care about revenue or anything like that, right? Music in the background, music while, while the video is being recorded. They started auditing my channel and I started getting flagged for a bunch of older videos, which actually didn't really affect me much. They sent me an email for each one of the, the copyrighted content saying that if I'm okay with the copyright owner to get the revenue from the video, leave the video alone. Two, I can delete the video. Three, I could uh, remove the audio with the YouTube studio, right? I didn't care about those videos. They never got views and stuff like that. So I, did, I left it alone. It made revenue, let the copyright owner take it. I'm not sweating it, right? But after I got all of those emails, I had gotten uh, another email back saying, your videos violated terms and they terminated my channel again, right? So I lost my channel twice at this point. And at that moment, I was like, yo, this didn't even phase me anymore. I'm almost, I was almost ready to just give up YouTube the first time. The second time was kind of like, whatever, you know? And I, 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 I debated on this a long time, like even from last year, when all of the stuff that had happened with me last year, I was ready to give up YouTube already. So this was kind of like almost icing on the cake to just give up YouTube altogether. Um, but a lot of you guys, man, a lot of you guys reached out and I truly appreciate it. You guys reached out and told me, you know, to not give up and I shouldn't take the easy way out. I should never take the easy way out. Um, so I had a little faith in it still. And I was like, you know what? We'll appeal it again. We'll send a bunch of emails. Shout out to the real ones, you guys tweeted it you guys contacted youtube about it and complained about it tagged youtube on a lot of posts and really was trying to get their attention i appreciate you guys a bunch like truly so i gave it another day and they emailed me back and said we apologize again for terminating your account um due to you know they mistaken like violating youtube terms so they reinstated my channel the second time and Again, we're back at it, guys. We've been grinding, we've been making videos, and we've been putting in the work on, you guys should be seeing soon the wagon here, but um, we're back at it. But I wanna let you guys know that YouTube is, yes, indeed, my full-time job, right? And with the account deleting the first time and terminated the first time and the second time, it really messed up my whole entire algorithm my analytics the views everything and it really feels like i'm starting from the bottom again what what i was generating before the termination to what i am now it was like this so this is definitely going to be a grind to get back to where i was i thought i was coming into 2022 um with a good like position of where i was at in life and with youtube and I just took a hard fall from the termination. So if you guys could, you know, if you guys really do truly enjoy the videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up and, uh, you know, share it, you know, leave a comment down below, man. It, it truly, it truly helps me out a lot. It really does. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're back here. We're still recording. We're still wrenching. We're still grinding. I'm still shooting for my goal for 2022. I'm still trying to do different things. And right now, I just got to get everything out of the way. The red car, the white giveaway car, the La Panda, and get my KRX going before I can really get into, you know, diving into the bag of 2022 year goals. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. I'm sorry I didn't really upload uh, today as far as like content in order. But I just want to upload this video for you guys to get you guys really caught up on what's all been going. If you guys want to see more real time stuff of what's been going on, you know, with the channel, like behind the scenes and stuff, follow me on Instagram at FN Static, man. But um, my tuner's here. We're going to get this car up on a dyno. I'm going to vlog this one for you guys. And uh, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stick around and see the whole entire process of boosting the wagon, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, and there's no outro song because I'm on my phone, so. <laughs>